In this video guys, we're gonna look at why is patience so important as a trader and what actually happens if you don't have it? Is it essential? Stay tuned. Hey guys, warm welcome to you. Thank you for joining me. All right, so you're probably an active trader. You have probably heard, have patience, have patience, have patience. Everyone is saying, you gotta be patient, gotta be patient. And you're thinking, well, what aspects of my trading do I have to be patient in? Why? And what are the consequences of not? I'm gonna answer that in this video. But first of all, before I do, I want you to check out our channel sponsor. There's a link in the description below. It's multi-regulated under multiple jurisdictions. You can trade massive amounts of markets with them. Your currency pairs, your commodities, your indices trade an MT4 and MT5, and they've got different account types, depending on how active you are, the vehicle you're trading, the size you're trading. So go and check them out. There's a link to them in the description below. Okay, so patience. You've heard it, I've heard it. What's it all about? Now, the first thing, guys, is waiting for the right trade. This is one of the bigger parts of being patient as a trader. So what you want to be doing is looking for and acting on a specific setup, whether that's a chart pattern, whether that's a fundamental setup. It's probably not gonna be fundamental if you're an active trader, you're probably looking more at the technicals, but you get the idea. You have a set of criteria that means that you're going to look at the trade and probably a further set of criteria, which means you're actually going to take the trade. And you've got a risk rewards criteria. You've got loads of different things that are guiding you into the trade that you're about to take and guiding you into uh, putting some risk capital down on the table. Because without that, if you're just diving into anything you think is moving, you're gonna struggle because number one, Without a strategy, you're, going to f you're not going to be able to improve because you're not going to have any metrics or data on what's working. You're like, oh, I took that, why did I take that? Oh, I don't know. You're not going to, you're going to be in too many things. You're going to be using up all your margin on things that you don't really want. You're going to be looking at the next shiny object syndrome. And it's very, very challenging. If you can imagine, if you're a business, let's say you're a restaurant. Um, if you start out and go, right, I am going to be a gourmet burger restaurant, for example. You're gonna have a menu of really gourmet burgers and that's gonna be your big thing. You're gonna be able to advertise as that, gonna be known as that, and hopefully get some traction if you've got the footfall and the marketing right. If you decide one day to do gourmet burgers, the next day to do Mexican, the next day to do vegan, the next day to do pizza, pasta, Italia, you get the idea, guys. You know, if you're all over the place, you're never gonna be able to get good at anything and you're never gonna know what's working. So. You get the example, it's a bit broad, but it's the same kind of thing with trading. If we're patient, waiting for the right trade and we're focused on the right thing, then we act on our specific setup and we just do that and we can get better. If we're all over the place, we're gonna struggle. The second thing is waiting for the trade to mature. So one is getting into the trade, being patient for the right setup that fits our trading plan. The second thing is once we're actually in the deal, is being patient and letting the trade mature. So what do I mean by letting it mature? That means letting it go to your stop loss or letting it go to your target. Preferably, of course, we all want it to go to our target rather than our stop, but you get the point. What many traders do is they get impatient. They're in a deal, they're in a trade, it's sitting around, it's not doing all, oh, it's not working this, I'm gonna cut it. Or it's nearly got to the target, it rotates back, they get scared, they get frightened, they're like, oh, I don't wanna give them profits back that I've got, let me take it off the table. And again, you're jumping the gun and you're not acting with patience, you're not letting the trade reward you for taking the risk in a day you've done the hard work, right? You've put your risk on the table, you've gone, right, I'm gonna risk this amount of money, I'm gonna take the trade, here's my stop, it's running in my direction, and then you cut it the first sign of some profit. You've done the hard work, let the trade pay you now. If it wants to run and you're in it, let that thing run. Have patience. It's very unlikely to go from point A to point B in a day. It's probably going from point A to point B in five days and go down minus point A in the meantime. You get the idea. The point is, it's never going to be that easy. So panic closing, not wanting to give back gains. That's a big thing, that's a big impatient thing. Now I'm not saying you should always stick with the trade, you should have some parameters in your trading plan that says, hey, you know what, if after five days it's stagnated, I might reassess it, that's fine. But that's part of the plan. You know, being patient enough to let the trade play out, whether you're trading intraday, whether you're trading swing trade, whatever you're doing, is going to yield much better results than impatiently trading, not only taking the trade, but impatiently grabbing at profits or impatiently not letting the, the trade run. So final thing guys, number three, is you're in trading for the long haul. So many traders, especially newer traders, start out and go, right, I wanna grow my account from 10K to 100K immediately. I wanna grow from 100 to a million immediately. I wanna grow from one to 10 immediately. Whatever level you're putting in, 
it doesn't matter. It's the wanting it all very, very quickly and not having the patience. Now listen, we all want to have the most aggressive account growth we can in the short amount of time we can. That is natural, that's why we're in the game. But at the end of the day, guys, you know, a patient approach where you've got a process focused approach where you're just accumulating profit, accumulating profit, accumulating profit, bit of drawdown, bit of drawdown, profit is far better for long-term success than big swings, doubling of accounts, halving of accounts, quarter of account. You know, that is just not sustainable because it comes a little bit down to luck. If you have a drawdown, a couple of bad trades in a row and you're trading in way too big size because you're impatient, you want your accounts to grow aggressively. Before you know it, your 10 grand account's gonna be two grand in a heartbeat. Your 100 grand account's gonna be 10 grand in a heartbeat. You get the point. If you're trading it carefully, you're trading small size, you've been very specific about what you do, you're not risking too much, then it allows your skill to shine through rather than being reliant on luck. Now listen, you know when you have a good run and your account balances are highs and you've had a good move, it's a great feeling, there's no doubt. We're not saying don't enjoy the process and enjoy uh, you know, making those profits, but remember that if you are dialing up the size and you are impatient about how quickly you wanna see your account grow, it's almost inevitable you will have to sit through some pretty brutal drawdowns. Now, if you can deal with that, then fine, but most people can't. Most people may well double their account and then it halves again, and they just feel the pain of it all, even though they're back to where they were and nothing's happened, and they start to trade differently, and they end up decimating their account. So trading small, being patient enough to know, okay, I'm in this for the long haul, I'm gonna just trade small, and we're specific about what I trade, and I'm just gonna try and put month after month or quarter after quarter or year after year on the table and my size will increase naturally with that, my skill set will increase naturally with that, and my trading ability will increase naturally with that, improve and you know, you'll know you end up growing your account slowly if you do the right thing over time. Impatient is the, impatience is the biggest killer of trading accounts bar none. So take care out there guys, and don't forget to check, check out our channel sponsor, I'll link to them in the description below. Go and see if they're right for you. Take care, bye bye.